Okay, what's up guys? Sir Sly 420 here. Got everything trimmed up. It's been curing for a little bit now. And everything's been weighed up. So this is the final harvest video for the Spectrum King LED Grow. Um, I definitely didn't get as much as I would have liked to. But I definitely think I know why. Number one, the number one reason is I didn't really do any training to my plants. Um, I think I super cropped them one time. So I could have had a lot more tops than I did, which I sh I'm definitely going to do on my next run. The other thing I didn't do is I didn't lollipop, which doesn't really mess with the, the Girl Scout cookies too bad. But definitely it will hurt the blueberry yield if you don't lollipop. And the other thing about the blueberry is the leaves are so fat that they block a lot of the light. So on my next run, I'm going to do some uh, super cropping, some thinning, some topping, definitely going to lollipop, and uh, <clears throat> hopefully I'll get a much bigger yield. So what I got total was about 510 grams of total weed. That includes the trim. I had 110 grams of trim. 70 of those grams of trim was from the blueberry. I had about 40 or I think yeah 40 grams of Girl Scout cookies trim and all this trim is like phenomenal super frosted it's the, the best trim I've ever had um, by the way this is the best quality weed that I think I've ever had as well it's been real frosty uh, nice and dense the blueberry isn't as dense as, I, as it could have been but like I said I had the light at the top of my tent almost the whole time even when the plants were only a few feet tall so at one point <clears throat> I had like a four foot gap between the canopy and between the light which was just a little overkill you know for for losing intensity so my next run I'm going to keep the lights a lot closer I'm gonna do a lot more training I'm gonna veg the plants a little bit longer than I did and uh, I'm definitely going to have a better yield on my next run. I know that these lights have a lot of potential. So again, 510 grams of weed out of 900 watts of LED. That's still a pretty good yield. And uh, the other thing is, guys, usually when I have a harvest, I'll have to separate the buds into you know different grades, like the bottom shelf, mid shelf, top shelf. With this, they're all pretty much the same, except for the blueberry tops. The blueberry tops were a little bit better than the bigger jar. What you're looking at, there's a big jar, which is blueberry. There's a little jar on the left, that's the popcorn nugs I got. And then the jar on the right is all the tops. And then for the Girl Scout cookies, it was just two big jars full of really good, solid, dense wheat. And then the jar on the right of those two big jars is the uh, trim that I was talking about. And it is amazing quality trim. I don't know if we'll be able to zoom in on it. Probably not. But you can just see those, those nugs look really good. And this was the most frost I've ever had on my blueberry. It was crazy. So anyhow, let's go ahead and zoom in on the blueberry. There's just two nugs that I just randomly grabbed. And what I'll do is I'll take the camera off the tripod and get up close so you guys can see me kind of squeeze the nugs and show how dense they are <clears throat> so yeah um, I definitely regret that I had the light so high above the canopy because that definitely hurt my yield and I regret that I didn't low or that I didn't lollipop and that I didn't do more training but other than that guys for using these lights without any real work done on the garden itself it came out superb the quality is top notch.
So it's super frosty, it's super smelly. The flavor is amazing. Let me go ahead and check out the Girl Scout cookies. Sorry guys, my tripod is kind of a pain. You can see it's really good quality stuff. <clears throat> this is the least amount of popcorn nugs I've ever had in any harvest. Usually it's a lot of fluffier stuff down at the bottom of the plants. And uh, with this, that wasn't the case. I had just more high quality bud than I've ever gotten before. So I, I'm still happy with these lights, even though the yield wasn't as high as I was hoping. I was hoping for like a pound and a half and I got a little over a pound so but like I said not the best conditions not the best training so I definitely could do better and I will do better on my next grow you guys will see I'm gonna try to fill the tent in a little bit more um, because this is a 5x9 tent so I think a 4x8 would have been better for these lights but um, five by nine still works. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom out now, take the camera off the tripod, and hopefully I'll be able to get some shots of this stuff, you know, close up. I don't know how this camera's gonna work with it really close, so let's hope it works. So, it snugs a little bit larfy, but still really good. Again, this is the blueberry. It was really far from the light, farther than it should have been. Here's another top. Pretty fat buds, honestly. Yeah, this camera is not meant for real close-up shots. All right, let's get to the cookies. This stuff's real dense. Whoops. Stuff's like really good. So definitely it depends on the strain you're growing, what your yield's gonna be. If I was growing like the two strains I started with, Blue Dream and Jelly Bean, I probably would have gotten a massive yield. But these strains that I grow here, they're not really meant for quantity, they're more meant for quality. You can see these are real dense. These were a lot taller than the blueberries, so they were closer to the light.
So yeah, guys. Damn, my fingers are sticking to my camera. Um, <clears throat> that's my yield. It was about um, about 200 grams of each plant in nugs, and then 40 grams of trim for the cookies. 70 grams of trim for the blueberry. And again, it's just really good quality. And I did use less energy than I normally use, so I'm happy about that. I, I definitely saved about 200 bucks, I think, every month. At my last place, my electric bill was around 400 every month. And uh, this place, it's only been around 200. And I do live in an area where the uh, kilowatt hours are kind of expensive. I think they're like 15 cents kilowatt hour starting out. And then once you hit those different tiers, which you hit pretty quickly if you're a grower, it can get all the way up to like 33 cents a kilowatt hour out here. But I'm definitely happy with it um, for not really doing much work. It was a great yield. And um, I'm going to put in the work on my next grow and hopefully get an amazing yield. So that's that, guys. So stay tuned for round two with the Spectrum Kings. It is going to be a really good round. Alright guys, peace out.